Hey Guana fans and welcome to January's video. Even though it's February, you know, it's, it's still got a little bit of a feel of January about it. But I just wanted to come to you today and share with you a great recipe we've been doing here for a while. We're going to do a fat-free chicken soup. Now, everybody's got their own version of chicken soup and that's fine. But if you want something that's completely healthy, you can't really go better. You boil the entire chicken, bones and all, all the goodness and minerals come out of the bone straight into your food ready to go. To start with, we're going to take an average size chook from the supermarket. We're going to cover him with some virgin olive oil. Just give him a good massage. Get it all around there. It's therapeutic. Therapeutic. Cooking makes you feel good. Give your hands a quick rinse. Then we're going to add paprika. And salt. Now don't worry, this isn't for the soup. Or rather, what will the um ah oh, what am I trying to say? All the oil and the fat is gonna disappear when we roast him and I'll show you why in just a minute. We're gonna roast him on a tray. But this is just gonna infuse the meat, the lovely flavour, and get all that skin crispy and delicious. That already looks it smells fantastic. Then we just pop him in the cooker. Mmm, so good. If you've got one of these hot, uh, what do they call them, hot air grills at home they are absolutely fantastic all the fat just drips straight through to the bottom you don't use any oil in your cooking apart from that little bit i put on to crisp up the skin all your food absolutely delicious and while we've got him cooking away let me just tell you where i'm up to now as you know we've been trying to lose 10 kilos a month now over christmas which is always a tough one we got down to 109 kilos so that's another loss of eight kilos not quite the 10, but we have been bulking up so much. I don't know if you can tell, I'll try and get a wider shot, but my shoulders, arms and chest have just been really expanding. And the stomach is going, compared to what it was. So we're not quite there yet. I still look at the mirror and I feel like a fat bastard. But... Uh, we're on the right track, we're on the right track and we're actually down another notch on our belt as well. Our pants are getting smaller and smaller, down to uh, a size 38 inch in my shorts, which is, um, well we started as a 48, now down to a 38. So that's that's really great length, that's um, incredible, that's hard to believe. I've even started throwing out some old shirts because they're just like tents on me. But that's January, so 8 kilo loss for December and I will get back you with uh, with February's, hopefully we can uh, we've got more good news, and hopefully you're doing just as well as home as well. Yeah, you know, if you receive uh, if you're achieving good results, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. But now back to the chicken. Now there's a couple of reasons why we're roasting the chicken first. Now, firstly, is uh, my girls love chicken sandwiches for their school lunches, so normally. You know, roast the chicken at the start of the week. Uh, the majority of it will go on their lunches. And then what's left, we put in the, the cooker and turn it into a chicken soup for the weekend. But it also works just as well with the full chicken. And the second reason is I think you get a much nicer flavor in your chicken soup if you roast your chicken first. So that's why we're doing it this way. And roasting is really stress-free. I mean, you just, you give it a rub, you put it in the, you put it in the oven. <laughs> The dings and you're done. So we're going to leave that in there for an hour and a half on 160 degrees. Okay, now our chicken is nearly done. I don't know how well you can see this, but all the fat 
is running out and this is the advantage of uh, baking on a on a grill rather than just in a pan and you can see all that fat just sitting at the bottom there it's incredible and people consider chicken uh, a fairly healthy meat but um, when you can see all the fat that uh, runs out of it it really is incredible so while that's just finishing off we can get our other vegetables ready here we have two onions which are finely diced you don't have to get too crazy so it is going to be in a soup my girls don't really like onion though so I tend to chop it up fairly finely and we have three carrots and three potatoes as well now when you're chopping your carrots and your potatoes I do them with the skin on and you may even want to consider doing that yourself most of the vitamins in our vegetables are just under the skin and you lose a lot of that if you take the skin off and even my girls, fussy as they are, don't mind having their veggies with the skin off so give it a go so drop our onion in Cube our potatoes so quick and easy to do just one cut down the middle if they're particularly thick put in two cuts flip them again two cuts and we've got beautiful cubed potato in it goes. Alright, now into this we're also going to want about two litres of boiling water. And dice our carrots up. Just one cut down the middle. Other direction. So they're into fours and then just So quick, so easy. Now to be honest, normally I would put the chicken in before I put the vegetables in. But uh, I'm saving a little bit of time because it's getting late here. And I'm just hoping to get these veggies cut while the chicken finishes cooking. A couple of cloves of fresh garlic. Now of course you, you could use garlic in a jar, but like I explained in our herb videos, you're just losing so much of the, the goodness. I mean you still get the flavour, but you lose all the goodness. So use fresh if you can, if you've got it. Check these out there. They are some fantastic garlic cloves. Let's cut the top off. Give it a squish. That'll help you get the, the rest of the paper off, the rest of the skin. A quick dice. Oh, a really rough chop, I guess. Now, for myself, if I was just eating it by myself, I would also add all our herbs as well. The rosemary, the thyme, and the parsley go really, really well with this. Unfortunately, my kids 
just don't hate <laughs> just don't like the taste of the herbs and if I put rosemary in it they're never going to eat it so for this one we're going to leave the rosemary out but for you guys I would definitely recommend grabbing a couple of big uh, sprigs of rosemary stripping the leaves off chopping it up finely and adding it now water is um, pretty much down to your discretion I like my soups fairly thick and chunky so I'd only put about a litre of water in however my girls they like them quite watery they like to drink it so I put in two litres you're not going to change the flavour at all but it will change the consistency what I'm adding here I'm just putting in a couple of chicken stock cubes I put in three there but put in how many you feel comfortable with And as far as veggies go, you can pretty much add whatever you want. All your root vegetables and anything that's a bit firm, like celery, things like that, are all fantastic in a chicken soup. But it really just comes down to what you enjoy. But this one is three carrots, three potatoes, a couple of big cloves of garlic, two large onions, and uh, some stock, oh, plus a whole chicken, yes. And there is our chicken. Beautiful, crisp, delicious, and uh, pretty much drained of all its fat. And, oh, there it goes. Now we're going to add some more paprika too. Give it a quick stir. And that sticks, and that is it. Very, very simple. I'm going to pop the lid on it. And let that simmer overnight. Now, we'll come back in the morning and I'll show you what I mean by fat free. We'll take the lid off this, like let it cool down, put it in the fridge, and there's no film on the top of it. There's no fat layer, there's no little fat bubbles. There's nothing to scrape off the top. It's just pure you know, unadulterated chicken soup. We'll pull all the bones out of it. All the cartilage is going to dissolve. And that's going to thicken up the soup. And all the bones, all the goodness of that is going to come out and go into your soup as well. We'll just pull out the big bones that are left. And then it's perfect, ready to serve. And the kids will take that to school in their little thermos for lunch. Ah, uh, good morning. Now, our chicken soup has been simmering all night. So that's all that's happened to it. And I'll show you what we've got here. If we just pop the lid off, and you can see before I even give it a stir, there's no little fat bubbles on it at all. And when that cools down, normally if we're doing a beef or a lamb, we need to scrape all that fat off the top. But because we roasted this chicken first, there's no need. All that fat has already been drained out. So now we can just pull all the bones out. And that is absolutely lovely. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good too. And please let me know how you're doing with your own progress. It'd be great to hear, hear from you in the comment section. So, thank you for tuning in again. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope it fills you up, keep you fed and happy, and eat yourself thin.